hi guys in this video we are going to learn about the synchronous javascript so synchronized means line by line for example we have number of statements uh, of the javascript so first line would be executed first and then the second one then the third one and so on so this is called as synchronized behavior so in this video i will be showing you an example so for example there would be any delay so at that moment you will be experiencing i mean observing the delay uh, at the time of execution of course so let me start with the example so for example I have two functions here function slow task then after I have another function name fast task and inside of each of the function I'm going to write here the console.log so this is slow task and again I have another function which is fast task function so inside of console log I am gonna write here fast task so to make it uh, to do the execution I need to call the function so for example I am calling here the slow task then the fast task and for example at the first time I am gonna write here fast task then slow task then fast task and then at the end I am gonna write here slow task alright so let's see the execution here so I'm gonna refresh f the browser and you can see that fast task then the slow task fast task slow task so you can see that uh, one after the other is going to be executed for example we have the fast task function uh, firstly called so because of which this statement uh, is going to be executed first and then after we called the slow task function so the inside of the slow task function we had console.log slow task so that's why we got the console value slow task so in the same way again fast task and again uh, slow task so let me make you more clear over here for example before uh, executing this console.log slow task I wanted to uh, make create a delay so for example I have a variable now equals to date I'm gonna create a date object so that will be returning the time current time so what does it mean new means we are going to create an object of date class and here we have a function get time which is helping us to give the current time value in the now variable so whatever would be the assigned in the now variable that would be the current time value all right so I'm gonna write here a while loop and inside of it I am again going to initialize a date object dot get time so what does it mean it means that again I am writing here the current time value I am getting current time value so now I am gonna compare this with if that is less than equals to now plus 2000 so can you imagine what I gonna make you understand here for example I am writing here the comment so this while loop is helping us to create a delay so how for example we have just executed this line and because of which we got the uh, current time value for example 4 o'clock 4 p.m. and 0 second so again we are going to create another object here this will be of course giving 4 o'clock and now we are comparing with this value so you can see that in the now we have the four o'clock plus two seconds to, so two, 2000 millisecond means two seconds so we are uh, this time is less than the now plus 2000 because this is two seconds uh, ahead so again the loop would be running again uh, executing again and in the next second for example we got the value here 4 p.m plus one second and again you will compare this value this was old value of which is 4 p.m. and plus two seconds so 4 p.m. plus two seconds right so again you can see that this is 4 p.m. plus one second this is 4 p.m. plus two seconds so again the loop would be continued because the condition is true so in the third time for example the second get increased and the value become 4 p.m. plus two seconds and which is less than equal to 4 p.m. plus 2 seconds which was older value so this is equal alright so again uh, this execution would be done once again 
so at the end for example now we are uh, ahead with one more second so you can see that here would be 4 pm plus 3 second so currently this value would be 4 pm plus 2 seconds so that means uh, this value is greater than this one so this time the while loop would no more executing right so then after we will be coming out from the while loop and this console log uh, message would be displayed so what we learned here is that this while loop is just helping us to delay for two seconds i mean this would be continuing looping until we are reaching uh, to the two seconds uh, with the current time all right so let's see the execution now so for example i'm going to refresh this so you can see that fast task has been executed then after slow task after two seconds then fast task then slow task so you might experiencing the delay of the execution let me refresh it once again so just see fast task then after two seconds we are getting slow task then fast task executed immediately and then slow task executed after two seconds so this was let me refresh it once again so just experience all right so this was the delay and you can also see that fast task is uh, going to be executed first then slow task of course there is a delay but still slow task is executing then after uh, once this is completing then after that uh, fast task would be executed and then again fast task uh, slow task would be executed so of course we are end up with the uh, synchronous behavior of the javascript so i think you got the basic understanding that how we are uh, we are just learning about the synchronous behavior of the javascript so synchronous means line by line for example we have one line one that would be executed then after we will be coming to the next line and then after to the next line so according to the execution each line would be executed uh, in its own turn all right so this is called as synchronization of the javascript so in the next video we will be learning about the asynchronous behavior of the javascript that is also an important and i will de i will be giving you a brief example which would be really really easy to uh, understand so i have also explained lot of concepts of the javascript with uh, some examples and i have also created some games and uh, small apps which you can uh, actually exp uh, exp scale up to the higher projects so i think if you haven't uh, watched those videos i am just adding the link in, in the description so you can explore the whole playlist of the uh, videos which i have uploaded till now so let's meet in the next video so uh, thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video